Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up a really cool feature on your iPhone called sound recognition. Let's jump in. So we're gonna open up the settings and then we just wanna scroll down to accessibility, click on that. And then we're just gonna scroll down to where we see hearing and go to sound recognition. And you click on that, you toggle that on. It takes a second to download the app or the components to use that. So, and then it pops up with a window here saying that it's gonna add it to the control center. We say, okay. And then what you do is you see that where it says sounds, none, you click on that. And these are sort of some preset options that are in here. And so what this does is like, for example, if you hear a doorbell, you could click on that and go turn that on. And now sound recognition will send a notification anytime that it hears a, a, a doorbell. So we go allow, and then you can change the alert that it'll give to you when it hears that. So we'll step out of that. And you could turn on as many of these you want. You could have glass break, you could have dogs barking, fire alarms, smoke alarms, all of that baby crying, all of those things in there so that it'll alert you. And when you back out, I'll show you what this looks like. And then just to show you how this works, I have a doorbell sound effect on my computer here and we'll play this and I'll show you what this sounds like. And then you can see the notification pops up, says doorbell, a sound has been recognized that may be a doorbell. And so then you can go answer the door and do whatever you need to. What this also did, if you remember, it loaded it into the tray. So if you just slide down your finger in the top right-hand corner of your screen, it'll bring up your control panel. And you can see there the little squiggly lines with the magnifying glass. You click on that, click and hold it. It'll bring up all the different options in here. So you can turn on door knock, glass break, kettle, you know, whatever you want through there, some of the presets, or you can go back into the settings that way. But what you can also do in that tray is you can see that it's white color now means that it's selected. If you tap that again, it'll turn it off. So now it won't give you any notifications that you have in there. So kind of a neat tool that's hidden in your iPhone. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.